I so boom for just five cents a day, you can sponsor the channel to get Sean some new gear. Let me clear the air real quick. <laughs> so for the first three or something bleach videos, I was wearing the same white hoodie. Mm -hmm. It was just a coincidence, mm. but whatever. Now, on the fourth time, I was wearing a cream hoodie, not a white hoodie. And then someone still said he's wearing the same fucking hoodie. It wasn't the same hoodie, all right? I have different <laughs> hoodies, all right? So to make it obvious, I'm wearing a black one today. I'm drinking some Sprite, not sponsored. Delicious. Wait, why are you drinking Sprite if you're not feeling well? Isn't that like contradict, uh, counterproductive? No. I need no? some sugar. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, last episode was fire. Um, uh, fucking Rukia's Bankai is ridiculous. So so far, yeah. we've seen Renji's Bankai, which was OD, and then Rukia's Bankai, which I would argue is the best. Um, yeah. Yeah, that shit was crazy. But I wonder, like, it has so many drawbacks, right? Because, like, she could die because of how cold it is. Essentially, it just seems like she stands still and she emits freezing temperatures mm. and that affects her as well and yeah like she tried to move her hand and it nearly cracked into pieces so yeah it was very dangerous but uh <laughs> very cool and like you said it's probably my favorite bunko so yeah. yeah that shit is od i wonder how strong it would be against like yuha probably, mm. not, probably not strong at all i guess right because he's the main boss so maybe yeah but she definitely smoked fear like easily mm with that yeah so but now we're about to find out what's happening next hopefully ichigo makes it to the battlefield if you like this video forget to like subscribe hit the bell so you miss out any of these videos check out the patreon and social media Let's do this shit. oh <laughs> see the funny thing is if he explains his powers mm -hmm. They don't even remember it, so that makes sense. <laughs> but I know he's just doing it to explain to the viewers, but yeah. <laughs> it was so cute, bro. You got Digimon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, that's the actual person. Right. Hey, yo, he's in half. Oh, what the fuck? Jeez. Good, he was trash anyway. Mm -hmm. I literally didn't care about him. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Hey, is Kenpachi back? Mm. Yeah, my fucking man's is back. It's been a while. So anything he imagines comes true. That's actually OD. Damn, Kenpachi's fate is OD. What the hell? <laughs> His barber is nice. Oh, yeah? What did you say, nigga? What did you say? For your level of imagination? Damn, look at that. I am the edge. Damn, this shit is so <laughs> fucking swaggy, Sean. Do you understand? That, was, that shit that was, was pretty fucking cool. That yeah. was sick, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> That's fucked up. Cookie. You know who the fuck I am, bro? Oh, nice. Mm. Oh my god, this nigga can watch you, bro. <laughs> Look at Aizen. 
just chilling like Aizen should. Kenpachi. Kenpachi. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. I didn't know they had Blix in this world. Yo, Kenpachi's the fucking coolest. This guy sounds like he's just lonely and needs a friend or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a strong friend. Yeah. Oh! Mm. Damn. <laughs> They're fucking. Oh! Ooh, shit. Mm hmm. Show him, Kimpachi. Show him your dick. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, he w oh, okay. If he imagines himself dying, then he'll actually die. That's a funny trick. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is that? Did he summon a comet? He's a madara no jutsu. Word. You gonna try to cut a meteor? No, you're not. Oh! That's the sword's name? Show him your dick, Kenpachi. Show him your dick. Dream. Yo! <laughs> Son. Show him your penis. <laughs> show it to him. Pull it out and show it to him. <laughs> What do you say after you summon a meteor and somebody cuts it in half? What do you say? Besides, oh, wow! He said, mine's bigger. Fucking hell. <laughs> Ooh. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh! Forgot to make your body oh. hard. <laughs> he just cut through dimensions, nigga. What the fuck? Nanda. Oh god. I must say, I'm really enjoying Grammy's power and his mm -hmm. use of it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you just made him mad. <laughs> Are you really a monster? <laughs> the guy is looking at him. Ooh, what? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. think the concept of him losing because his body wasn't powerful enough to um, to contain the power that Kenpachi has. That's fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. What a way to lose a battle. Kenpachi definitely unzipped his shit and whipped it out, cutting a meteor in half, bro. Are you serious mm -hmm. right now? Are you serious? This anime is fucking bonkers. Kenpachi is the absolute rawest character in this show. I don't care.
And that's not even his Bankai. We never even seen his Bankai. <laughs> I mean, who knows if he has it or not, so. Oh, true. He at least knows his sword's name at this point. Yeah. And what knows that uh, Rashi. Yeah, is that a fucking axe or is it a... <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It looks like it's a cleaver almost. Which, yeah, like, right? Oversized cleaver. It's like a Ichigo's uh, Chikai, but just way bigger. Yeah. Amazing episode. I loved the art and just how they handled Grimmy's power because he had... Uh, I mean, let's be honest. He could have used his imagination better, but mm-hmm. he used it in creative ways, which was a nice, entertaining visual experience for us, the viewers. Mm-hmm. So... I like seeing the water and the space and all these different things. The meteor, the animation on that was absolutely godlike. So, yeah, no, cool character. I think it's a bit of a silly power because it's, it's like making someone Superman. Like, he's never going to lose, but he did lose in a way. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I was particularly happy about how that fight concluded, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Uh, it looked cool anyway. And then as for uh, Zaraki's sword, awesome. Yeah, like amazing huge it fits his personality it's just a big fucking cleaver <laughs> and uh yeah I, there were some hints in there which i don't know if we're gonna get into next episode because i do remember something about the origin of a sword and shit but i won't go into that we'll see if we cover that next episode mm. uh but yeah no loved it i feel like every episode has been a banger no misses at all yeah just oh and this thing pulled out all the blicks what the fuck <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that was OD. It reminds me of like Yosemite Sam and shit when he pulls out all the fucking guns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? But yeah, man, that was a fire episode. I can't wait for next week. It's going to be absolutely crazy. I know this fight was fast. It happened to one episode, which is good because mm-hmm. I like that they're just, you know, not dragged out between three episodes or some bullshit. Mm. So that's cool. But I really just want to see some sort of story progression besides. Uh, this person fights this person and then this person fights this person because at least like last season there was a bit of setup and then the whole intrigue of the quincy's and there there was you know some story and now it's kind of like we're stuck in the uh naruto great ninja war that spreads for 200 episodes you know yeah so i'd like to say a little something different not that these episodes are disappointing or anything i just want a little bit of story as well but it's it's still great obviously but yeah yeah, no, I hear that. I wish Ichigo would show up. Yeah, Something you he gonna show up at the end. He gonna show up at the end, and then we gotta wait. Yeah. But then, I mean, probably. How many? How many cores are left? Is it? Is it gonna be four? or Is it three? I think it's three. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's three. Mm. Y'all, let us know what you guys thought in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Check out the Patreon and the social media. And we will see you in the next one.